Good morning, RJO traders. John Caruso coming to you for the morning of October 2nd with your global currency commentary for the day. Uh, taking a look at the overnight, we saw the Bank of Australia roll back interest rates. So they're cutting rates over there. That's got the Aussie on the run right now. It's down 57 points trading 102.53. That raises a lot of questions as to uh, how quickly China is actually slowing down over there with the Bank of Australia actually getting proactive with interest rates. Uh, dollars uh, coming in on weak footing, down about 20 points right now, trading 79, uh, 79.70. I think that's a direct result of some stronger PMI numbers coming out of the Eurozone last night. Uh, so some uh, problems over in, in Europe, they have started to calm down a little bit. Uh, I think they've just kind of fallen back on the back burner. I think they will arise again here uh, sooner rather than later. Um, Euro's trading one, uh, 129.56, up 59 points on the morning. Uh, taking a look at the Canadian dollar, that market's flat right now. That uh, uh, currency does tend to track commodity prices. I do believe we will see a risk-off event sooner rather than later in the marketplace, uh, which could send the Canadian dollar lower. Uh, so uh, I think it's safe to say that I'm more bearish than bullish on the Canadian at this point in time. Uh, I am looking for a slide in the Canadian back under 101.25. I think that will kind of tell the story moving forward. Um, and, uh, you know, like I mentioned before, I do believe we are going to see a risk off event rather sooner rather than later. I think Friday's unemployment number could be the catalyst for that. The market's looking for an increase of 113,000 jobs. Uh, the unemployment rate will stay unchanged at 8.1%, uh, but we'll see how that number comes out. And of course, the market's going to react uh, directly upon that number at uh, on, uh, on Friday morning. So if you want any more specifics, if you want to talk trade recommendations, please feel free to give me a call anytime. My number is 800-669-5354. And remember, trading futures and options carries risk. It may not be suitable for all investors.